Howdy, uh, my name is Oatmeal Ant, and welcome back to Let's Play EU4 Japan. We just cleared on the Shun with our newly found Causes Belli of Conquest on less advanced Asian nations. I thought we'd just roll over them with our higher military level and... Wow. We're not getting that anytime soon. We can't even get it. Okay. Anyway, with a higher military level and our Western units, they have a lot of units. And we didn't bring all of our units. Which is kind of bad. Should have definitely done that. So, I'm taking this a little bit more seriously now. And I'm really focusing on the infantry, because our infantry are what are so far ahead, not our cavalry. So we're gonna go ahead and make some more infantry. Maybe some cannons. And what we're gonna do now is we're combining our African forces with our Asian forces. And when we go to war with Swahili next, we'll probably split those back up. Unfortunately, we've fully improved relations with these two dudes. I say unfortunately because I can't start diplomatizing them because we're at war. So that's a shame. Hmm, France isn't doing so hot over there. It's fine. We got a border with France last video. It's trying and trying and trying to not have a border with France. Luckily, we're, like, cordial with Portugal, so they're not going to break their alliance with us anytime soon. I think the reason that they're cordial with us is that they completed their mission. They, they have a presence over here in the Spice Islands. Which I'm unhappy about. But I'm not going to do anything about it. We already went through all of the Portugal is a horrible for Japanese missions and events and whatever, so. Make sure my overextension is, is manageable. I can, I'm gonna start having some serious war weariness is my concern because I'm gonna take a lot more losses. So I have 19 troops here, or 19 transports, and I have 17 plus 18 troops. I'm gonna go ahead and send these guys back over to Africa. Pick up another 10. Notice how I, I wait till the first of the month, because that's when the tick happens on all their repairs. Now, am I above my force limit at this point? No. So I can build two more troops? I believe I'm already queued up more than two, though, so... Actually, we're gonna run everybody down to... Yeah, this is only... This is only two sea zones away from the, from the Taiwan Strait. One, two, three. Oh, we're gonna go here. And the question is, do we want to move our troops across yet? Mm, I don't know. We'll have quite a few 
troops. He's really not a good leader. Our heir is a better leader. Let me go ahead and equip our heir. He's 40. I'd prefer not to have a 40 year old heir. I'd prefer, I guess, even though he's pretty good. Ideally, I wouldn't have a 40 year old heir as a 45 year old, because we're just gonna have two quick successions losing us a bunch of stability. That doesn't sound very good. So I can't improve with Shani anymore. I'm just gonna have some diplomats like sitting around doing nothing. I could improve relations with Portugal. Go ahead and do that. I do want to have an ally at this point. France seems to be preoccupied in a number of wars. Spain in a number of wars. Portugal mm, in a war with Morocco for their cores back, it seems. These are actually Portuguese patriots in Tangier. But I guess Portuguese... I guess they're Portugal, Portuguese and Catholic. As for this, they may have more than this number of troops, but... What's the terrain like right here? Probably get a terrain bonus. Now I might start suffering attrition, which would suck, but I'm going to immediately get into combat. And I have a lot of manpower saved up. This is the first real war that I've been in all game for hundreds of years. And no attrition, that's pretty nice. Now I should be able to pretty easily wipe these guys out. Let's see if I'm right. Yeah, so if I have any sort of troop advantage, I can pretty easily go ahead and just crush them. What kind of losses do they take? Non-trivial losses. Now what I got into trouble with last time was chasing. They're, go they're still going to this Jinan province, so I'm going to go ahead and go over to the, the Jinan province. Now, I lost two battles, so in order to get the war start ticking, I'm going to have to win a total of eight, six more. That's okay. My plan is to just wipe out all their forces and then start sieging through all the provinces, dealing with rebels as they spawn. I don't know if I'll achieve that plan. I don't know how long it'll take, yada yada. But I have quite a bit of stability. And I'm not gaining a lot of war exhaustion. I have no ticking war exhaustion, because none of my provinces are occupied. Where was I headed? Here. So they're fully healed. We're going to go ahead and... Uh... Go ahead and grab these troops and bring them over to the ta Taiwan. Fur, fur is always good. Fur is profitable. I'm losing a lot of money. That should be okay. I'm gonna go ahead and merge up these forces. And I'm going to have this be my hunter force, but I'm not going to split them up too much. I'm going to merge these, these guys with the guys that are coming.
because last time I got ambushed by a bunch of troops. I don't want that to happen again. Financial reforms. Our nation is undergoing sweeping reforms in terms of economy and administration of our country. So the trade here is two stability for one year of a 10% tax increase. That's nothing. 20 administrative power, that's something, but it's not worth two stability, which is gonna, I'll have to just buy back. Or I can gain a stability in exchange for prestige, which is not that important, and loss of some money. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get the stability. So like I said, the way the computer fights is a hunter stack and a bunch of sieging stacks. If you're, if they're in your property, uh, provinces. I'm gonna do something a little different because my main goal is not actually to take their provinces at the beginning part of this war. But when are they gonna make peace with these guys? Gee. I need to know like to what extent their provinces actually are. Okay, so they didn't have a lot of survivors, but I don't have a lot of morale. They're retreating to this province. So what I'm actually gonna do is go ahead and grab these troops and use these troops to fight these troops, if that makes sense. These guys too. I'm not gonna run all the way back across when I have fresh troops coming in. I didn't put my this fleet in this strait because not only do they have these 10, they probably have another fleet hiding somewhere. So it's the first of the month. You, you can always find the first of the month if you're playing on Iron Man, because then there's, that's when that little pause is for um, auto saving. See, like I, I know this is the first of the month because events pop up in the first of the month. Then. There's a little fro frozen bit then, and so that's when you'd want to take ships out of port. I don't think I, I don't think I caught them. I'm still gonna run to Gunzo in case they're not there yet, but I, I think I saw them get there and run back away. As for this big fleet, I'm gonna have it heal. Hmm, it can heal an enemy territory that I've taken. I'm gonna have it heal and then go and try to find their fleet. I know they can't cross this ocean. They don't have any of these little islands to help them, so I don't have to worry about them getting over there to my colonies. Twenty-two. They seem to think twenty-two can take out nineteen. I don't exactly have a general. Can I get out of here even if I try? Maybe. I could at least give them a general if I got to this problem. Hmm. Not a very good general. We'll take him here. Huh. 
Huh. Why are we getting revolts? That's because the vict. Must because we're at war. So Timor is the problem. It's gonna be four revolts in Timor. Now, I have four troops here. Unlikely to be revolts in either. Uh, this one, not so unlikely. Um, okay. As far as the Talaxa goes, I have troops over here for them. The Timor is going to be problematic. I was telling someone who, in the comments of my Novgorod playthrough, that the only time I use harsh treatment is on islands. That's true. It's the only time I would ever consider using harsh treatment. Ugh. Oh. What kind of troops are these? Infantry... Infantry... Well... Okay. Can't split up. Still can't... Still don't feel comfortable splitting up, uh... Okay, this place just got a boost. This place just got a boost, that's good, because that means at the end of this month they might even finish their, their whatever cycle. As broke as I am, I'm, I'm still gonna recall this colony from peak, from, from here, I guess. And send him Here. Once again, one aggressiveness. I don't think I need any troops. This one should be done. Well, definitely by the end of the next month. So, how's this fight going? Looks like I'm gonna win. But it was, uh, it was a little close. A little close for comfort. Where are they retreating to? You might notice I don't use a lot of hotkeys, except I always use the F hotkey. <laughs> Reason is... The S hotkey... The F hotkey is fine. And I don't want to click that window off while I'm searching for the province they're retreating to. If, if I get there um, before they do, and these troops definitely will, then they'll just disappear. They'll just die. They'll be routed. And that's the play, and I want to... Oh, Gold Rush. Cool. Okay. That reminds me... Not seeming to be buying any administrative tech, so we're gonna go ahead and reduce inflation. Am I getting ticking war score yet? No, but I'm close. Only need two more battles. Considering this shows every evidence. Ooh, tea. Tea's always good. Okay, at the beginning of this month, this colony should be done. So I'm not going to pull off the troops until the beginning of the month. Because I don't want a revolt that would kill off any of the uh, troops. Plus, I want this, this ships to be in dock for the beginning of the month, because they got healed. Then I'm just gonna land in Timor. I'm not landing here because I'm not gonna be there for the first of the month. Whoa, 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 whoa. How 
That's what I get for not paying attention. Okay. Last time I ever split these chips up. <laughs> How many times has that come to bite me in the back before I finally learn? Cancelled that because I'll probably get a river crossing and my uh, their morale jumped up. Now I'm not gonna get ticking war score for a very long time. I'll have to win 12 battles. I don't want them to take this, because that would give like a permanent revolt risk in Timor. And then I'd have to... Yeah, they didn't take it. Okay. Unless they win this combat, in which case... They may very well take it. Looks like I'm getting a little cocky here. Too many easy battles as Japan. I'm gonna go ahead and just have like a landing site. Um, all my See if luck holds. I don't even know if these four will take it. I mean, they're worse troops than the other ones. Maybe the last guys just got some terrible rolls. Because these guys seem to be winning. I say that. I say that, and these rebels are very persistent. Good, I can buy actual troops. But it does look like I'm gonna lose Timor. I don't know how many times, how many cycles they're gonna go through, but they're gonna be getting pretty. <laughs> Pretty good. Maybe this one more cycle, they get one more cycle if they don't take it. Get there, get there. Wow. Well, that was luckier than I deserved.
Yeah, about that. Trade efficiency is good. This cog upgrade, though, I don't, I don't really know what it does. I think it's just cheaper. Eh, whatever. It's gonna be a long time till I'm making any uh, peace agreements with these guys. So. I'm just gonna just gonna get in battles now. Like I said before, that should be my goal. I should be walking around with a single stack, getting in battles. How's my war exhaustion doing? They're doing that same retreat pattern to over here. Wonder why? That's not their capital. It's next to their capital. I'm gonna leave these four down here. Am I? I don't know if I'm going to or not. My choice with the Swahili is almost up. I could carry on war on two fronts. These troops could be my war against the Swahili. And these troops could just walk around killing. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna have a war on two fronts. It sounds a little odd, but... The war against the Swahili went so easy last time, and I need money. I'm gonna run out of money. So... That'll have to be, uh, what I do. I'm just gonna get this war score ticking until I'm at, like, super good war score. And then see what, what happens. I, I, I... What piece did they get with these guys? Okay, I got a kind of an odd piece. So I'm just trying to get to those 12 battles for that war score, so that counts as a battle right there. This will be a battle too. How far above my force limit am I? Not. I'm right, right around at my force limit. Okay, everybody, let's head over to fighting the uh, Swahili. Like I said, if I'm at war, I'm at war. Um, I can't start annexing my vassals until after the war is over, so... Might as well have the war with the Swahili simultaneous to this war. Is that enough? Let's count them. I have four losses. Oh, four losses. So in order to get 80%, that would need to be only one-fifth. So I need 20 total battles. So I need 16 wins. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I need six more wins. Hmm, okay. Or sieging through every province. I doubt that. I don't know if that'll actually happen. I might have to just take a large chunk of them and turn that into the Ming. I really, I really don't know. Hmm. I don't want to get rid of administrative power, but 
Okay. Uh, I won't. Okay, well the war against the Swahili and the continued war against the Shun will have to continue next time. I think we're out of uh, time for this part, so I'll be right back, and you can be back whenever you join.